Hello and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door with me Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So today we will, um, well, are going to go in to Hooktail Castle. And this is, well, an interesting first uh, real dungeon in the game. Yeah, I guess I've seen worse in, um, um, Bowser's castle, to be honest, but anyway, the way of getting over the now broken bridge is actually to go to the um, top floor and to glide down uh, by pressing the, um, I believe it's the X button, and uh, glide down this way, so yeah, over the moat and into the castle. So yeah, and there are some new enemies within Hooktail Castle, and yes, some of them are the Dry Bones. However, we are not going to fight them just yet, so let's go up this way and um, go over here, because over here to the left is another gliding pad. This will take us back to the beginning if you want to save. Um, I don't want to because I've just started this episode, of course. So with that said, oh, um, yeah, we have some new enemies here. So firstly, um, let's see, we have the paratroopers, oh yes. Uh, they are, for all intents and purposes, the flying versions of the, um, um, the, um, regular Cooper Troopers. So, in that case, let's have, uh, eventually, um, um, Boombella actually, um, tattle them. So, yeah, uh, they will charge at you with their shells and generally be a nuisance. So, let's see what, um, Boombella's tattle says about the paratrooper. So yeah, and um, you can actually stomp on him while he's flying, so Goombella is probably the best uh, character to use here. If I did not um, boost out on the um, multi-bounce there, I would have actually knocked him down there, so I, I guess I'm going to have to use um, Goombella to get him. So firstly, let's get that Koopa that's probably haunched over on his back um, out of the way, and then we can actually... Um, Pretty much do that, so yeah. And a paratrooper without the um, thing there is just a regular Koopa Trooper. Oh yes. So let's heal up Goombella. And I have two um, things there. So do I want to go with a hammer? No, I want to knock him on his back. So jump and jump. Very nice. And do I get anything? A noop. So instead, um, let's have Goombella. I don't want to use a... Uh, um, uh, power block, no. I'll save that for some, um, um, more tougher enemies here. So, yeah. So, let's get some more things there. Very nice. And now, uh, with that done, let's actually, um, and yes, um, I actually ran into another Koopa Trooper off screen right after that. So, yeah. And we have another badge here, the Power Bounce. So, um, I do have the BP for it, so let's equip it. It will allow um, Mario to do a, a bit more damage in, a, in the same way with the, um, um, dare I say, the power smash move with his hammer. So, yeah, uh, I don't think we can go through that broken window. So, now I am actually going to refill my health. Um, I did not mean to um, have a Goombella tackle, but... It is interesting what she says, to be fair, so with that said, let's go back to the beginning and go through here. And indeed, um, um, get the thing back. And indeed, head to the right. And yeah, getting over the gap is not easy. No, it is not. So let's. Um, uh, I'm supposed to press the Y button now. Uh, never mind. Let's continue. Let's continue. And no, Mario cannot actually um, uh, glide over the gap. So instead, let's just go through here and get to the other side. In this room, um, we will see that, um, oh dear, 
plenty of dry bones, but is 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 Koops's dad dead? Holy crap! This is a lot of dark shit to throw on a Mario game of all things. Seriously. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I like the Thousand Year Door, because there are a lot of things that I not I would not consider being in um, a regular Mario game. Seriously. Cricket. So we can't tolerate crickets. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. We have to get something that sounds like a cricket. Oh dear. It's gonna pull a raditz, is he? Colorado? Yeah, I don't think that's your name unless you, that's your last name there, Coops. Yeah, Colorado is the name of a Cooper uh, that is a professor in um, the first Paper Mario game. And of course was also apparently, um, according to Super Mario Brothers Z, um, Goombella's te uh, first teacher apparently. I did not realize that. Oh, not first season, but she, she certainly in Super Mario Bros. Z went down to the thing. Anyway, before I go on about uh, that uh, fan series, apparently if we speak to the pink dry bones, we'll have to deal with a bunch of these guys. Well, there's only one thing we can do. Clear them out! So in that case, what we need to do is mash the B button to use Mario's hammer to get rid of the... Um, whole horde of dry bones in order to get to the pink one, the leader of the lot, and, uh, and do some damage to them. So firstly, I don't know if I want to do um, things, uh, apparently these guys are called dull bones, not dry bones. Sadly, the multi-bounce doesn't seem to do much, so instead I'm going to have to use uh, Koops' power shell to do some damage, and it does quite a bit of damage. So that'll get rid of the... Um, um, remaining things. As for the pink dry bones, what he will do is he will uh, throw various things at you and yeah, you still can't use a jumping move on him. Eventually, the pink dry bones will actually try and rebuild his comrades um, in that way, um, thus creating more dry bones. In which case, what I like to do is use um, 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 Koops' regular attack against them. Either that or um, um, just use Mario's hammer. That still works it, because they only have like 1 HP. Apparently this guy's called a Red Bones. So yeah, it's more pink than red if you ask me, but um, that's just my opinion. So, um, indeed, um, now I want to switch over to the... Actually, no, I don't. Oh, I'm happy with this setup. I may want to do more damage with Mario's hammer later, but for right now, no, I'm gonna use a. I'm not gonna use a firefly, but I will use some um, uh, honey syrup. I, or maybe not. Honey syrup? Yeah, I might do. I, I can't decide. I honestly can't decide. M maybe I should really, because um, that red bones is going to uh, rebuild his comrades. Once again, so let's see if I'm right. Okay, I'm not. If if look, he's blowing at me. Okay, with that said, I want to use a power smash then with Mario. And there we go. That does about three HP and pretty much did him in. Yeah, I didn't need to tackle at all there. And with that, we get another level up. So let's see what we want to level up. I have six uh, BP. So let's see. Um, I am going to um, upgrade my BP once again. Yeah, why not? I would like more badge points, especially if I am going to get um, the badge with the thing. You can see in the distance there is a key, and we cannot get that key at this moment in time. However, there is another curse in this dungeon, um, so yeah. Um, 
So let's see, am I missing anything? Well, um, yes and no, I'm missing the curse, but um, we can't do much about that. No, so instead let's uh, go back through here and, um, well, I'm going to do a lot of recovering, I think, back at the thing, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to go save and I'll see you in a moment. Okay then, we're back. So, um, uh, let's fight these dry bones in regular combat, because, well, yeah. Unfortunately, the same is true, we cannot do anything with our regular moves, so I'm going to have to go for a power smash with Mario here. So yeah, I'm going to face a lot of these guys in uh, battle. Thankfully, um, unlike um, the red bones, they don't always try and rebuild their comrades, so at least that's something, so you can actually save your FP. I like to go with Mario and Koops against these guys because of their more powerful attacks, seriously, and I, I know I am, I have not yet tried to um, power up, and you can do this, you can actually power up um, your um, other characters such as Goombella to make them more powerful, I'll go over that a little later, but um, no I have not, so therefore my best um, team to go with is both um, uh, these two, so yeah, in the background there is a Shine Sprite. I will be getting that on my way back, um, because um, yeah, so yeah, I have not forgotten about it, but yes. Shine sprites do pay, or do play, sorry, an important part in the uh, Thousand Year Door. So here we have a block that won't move, that giant yellow block. So what we want to do is actually destroy the, uh, um, not the yellow, oh, well, not the smaller one, but the big one there. So what I want to do is somehow get on top of the um, rather tough looking, um, uh, rocky blocks and jump up there. Now that ain't gonna be easy, so use the small purple block to get on there, then um, try and jump over the gap. Now this isn't gonna be completely easy, and use Mario's hammer to bust the normal yellow block on top of the up yellow block, if that makes any sense. And then what we want to do is um, find some way of getting up there. Never mind the um, red uh, switch for now, we have to move the block. So now, punch the small yellow block to move the big yellow block upwards, and then, I guess that works. I just don't have Mario stand on it, because otherwise he will just bring it back down. So we don't want that, so uh, let's hit it again. Okay, let's not hit it again. Oh, it works. Okay, maybe it's not Mario's hammer. That there we go, jump on it and then hit the other smaller block. So, now that the big yellow block is out of the way, we can use Koops to actually move the staircase by hitting the red switch there, and indeed um, go up. And over here, we will get a small walkway on the right that will um, um, uh, take us to our next destination, believe it or not, so, which is this key. Yes, so that key there will allow us to um, do so. We get it by moving, of course, Koops' shell. However, we still need to move the staircase back, so let's use uh, Koops' shell toss to actually hit the switch again to move it back, thus allowing us to open the door on the other side. So, indeed, let's do that. Get close to it, man. There we go, and open the door. And, oh boy, we have, what is it up here, don't we? So let's see, we have a green uh, block, and that will take us upwards. So, let's indeed hit it with Koops, once again, and indeed go up, and uh, hopefully it will take us to this staircase, which uh, will allow us to go up here, and there's another locked door there that we can't do anything about, so instead, well, we have another staircase here, and seemingly another badge, but uh, Mario can't reach it, which is very annoying indeed. So, where do we go from here then? Well, 
We can't go through that door on the... Actually, yes, we can go through the door on the right. And that will take us to, um... Seemingly the torture area, given that there's a giant ball and chain. And a specific type of badge there. Yes, that is very important, is that badge. And there's another red switch, so what happens if we press this one? Well, it will open that cell on the right, thus allowing us into, um... Well, almost. It's on a timer, so we'll have to use Koops' shell toss once again. So what we want to do is hold Koops in place while he's spinning, then get Mario over to the door, and then have Koops hit the switch, and then we can go through. So, yeah. And over here is the second uh, cursed chest. Yep. Um, we know your deal, you curse, blah blah blah, just get on with it. We're, we're a great hero, blah blah blah, you... No, 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 no. You're cursed, we are, um, um... And uh, anything but, to be honest, um... Uh, with this cursed chest, it will allow us, um, to get a certain thing. Like before, we have to find the, um black key in order to open it so indeed um well yes there's a real slime ball inside but um anyway that being said um um the black key is in the next room to the right so in this room apparently um um there are some spike traps but they will only activate once we get the key and that's not all um, for anyone who's played the Tomb Raider games, this will feel all very familiar, as we will see. Because um, as soon as we head to the left and get the key inside this chest, um, what will happen is that not only will the spike traps activate, but also there will be a spiked ceiling coming down from above. Yeah, this is what I mean by the Tomb Raider reference. So now we have to make our way around this um, this maze in the space of 50 seconds. And no, uh, we cannot take any shortcuts because Mario will just take damage there. Seriously, so we don't want that. Also, there's a cracked wall there. Um, we do have a party member that we can uh, do that with yet. We will get one. It's one of my favorite characters in the game to use. But yeah. And this is what happens when you actually fail this challenge in the way that you can get through the thing. So, um, once the ceiling comes down on you, what happens? Does Mario get skewered to a bloody pulp? Well, that, that would be very, very scary, even for a Mario, even for a Mario game with a death in it, like this one. So yeah, if you get skewered, you get an automatic game over, seriously. So instead, let's go back to when we were uh, being chased down by the uh, gigantic spiked wall, and or the ceiling, and make our way back towards the entrance. So yeah, going this way is far more effective than trying to throw coops at the uh, broken wall. Yeah, I guess. So, um, yeah, let's open the Skabuki chest and get cursed. Um, blah, blah, blah. We're getting cursed, blah, blah, blah. We get it, you stupid demon! Well, anyway, this curse will allow us to, um, um, basically flip ourselves sideways by pressing the shoulder buttons and, or the R button, anyway. Um, and that will also allow us to get that um, uh, key there. And yes, the only way to do so is by holding the R button. It is a very useful curse. Let's just put it there. Anyway, we're done with the um, not so curse. So now let's go through here and actually get that uh, badge. So yeah, we don't need to worry about hitting that thing, so let's head to the left and into this cell to get the attacks FXR. That will actually allow us to use the um, cricket uh, sound effects, so yeah. Um, so, before I do finish this episode, I do want to get a few more things inside Hooktail Castle. 
So, indeed, firstly, of course, is the aforementioned um, Shine Sprite over here. So let's get that. And that is very useful indeed. I'll, I'll get onto the Shine Sprites, what purpose they serve in-game as well. So yeah, there's also that key there. And in order to get that key, all we need to do is turn Mario sideways, sneak into the cell, and pretty much head to the right and get the key. So yeah. So on the next episode, we will make our way upwards towards where Hooktail is. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!